Hello, and welcome to the very first all practice video. Roll the intro. I don't have an intro. Warning, this video is going to be a little cringy because I'm going to be talking about what's in here. So two things, who am I and what is all practice? I'm Tim, I'm 37 years old, and I live in my mom's house. I've done this and that, but for most of my life, I've been a cook. I did the New England style Greek and Italian sub shop thing for a while. I started off cooking Mexican food. I did breakfast. I did fast food chicken. Not McDonald's or anything, but uh, just like a chicken place. And I did trendy high end food for a while, which uh, prepared me to get a good job in a school where I make prison food. But that was about 11 years ago and and I made a mistake. I am at a very low point in my life because of that mistake. Pre-COVID, I went part-time so I can do rideshare stuff on the side and be more flexible with my time so I can do projects. And COVID happened. The rideshare stuff died and I ran out of money paying rent on my lease because all I had was a part-time job and I moved to my mom's house and I'm very grateful because if it wasn't for her, I would be homeless. So there's that. I'm pretty nerdy. I like science, all sciences, most sciences, history current events, politics, music. But um, the specific type of science I like mostly is astrophysics, quantum mechanics, cosmology, that kind of stuff. Let's just say I can't explain things as well as Neil deGrasse Tyson can, but I explain them, I can explain them better than he does. So there's that. I've come to a pretty low point in my life. I have nightmares about growing old and being full of regret and anger because I've not accomplished much. And I'm pretty out of shape because I got a good job that took me out of the struggle and I got comfortable and I ate all the free food. So there's that. And I need to improve myself and I would like to take a shot at improving things beyond myself, including people, meaning people. So I came up with L Practice. L Practice is an idea I had for a brand that represents progress, awareness, growth, health, and fun. I don't really have it nailed down, but there definitely is a is a place for all practice in in the world today. So how am I going to deliver L practice? So this is my first video on YouTube. I'm going to have a YouTube channel where I make videos out of ideas I have and things I want to do. For example, the very next video I make will be detailing the beginning of my fitness journey. I need to lose a lot of weight or I'm going to die early. I currently weigh over 330 pounds, probably close to 340 pounds. I used to be pretty athletic, but that all went away. So I'm going to start off walking easily for a couple weeks and then move on from there, start a routine. I can't jump right in because I have no endurance, no cardiovascular, if I were to exert myself at 100%, I would have a heart attack in 15 seconds. I'm going to make spreadsheets, catalog my progress, and share it with you. So L Practice will also be on Twitter, where I will give more updates on that. And on Twitter, I will share updates about the channel, I guess, the YouTube channel. And I will share thoughts of mine on things that are happening. And just, I don't know, I'm guessing maybe just random thoughts of mine. I got a lot of them. 
And I'll be sharing things I find fascinating. Maybe some pop culture stuff, some current event stuff, some politics, some science, history, stuff that I find on the, on the internet and, and I find interesting. And, and what I would like to do is spark intelligent conversation. Um, I'm not afraid of a troll. I am a troll myself. So, to be clear, I would like it to be intelligent, but I... Know what I'm getting into? So, you can troll, go ahead, but... And I'll, and I'll play along, and I'll have some fun, but the ultimate goal is to have intelligent conversation and and have a back and forth that will make some progress and where people can educate each other and exchange their ideas and expressions. I've developed a worldview that I would really like to share and I think this is the best way to do it. And I have a good method of cutting through the BS and, and hopefully it can help. So there's that. And um, that I think that's that's pretty much it. L practice. This is the first video. I'm going to be on Twitter, sharing stuff. Side note: I know a lot of people aren't interested in politics. They don't care for it on YouTube and Twitter and stuff. But I like it. It's my channel, and it's something that needs to be talked about intelligently. So. I'm going to shoot my shot at that. And, um, and, and while we're kind of on that, the behavior of people, uh, I'm well aware lies are in. So if you want people to think you're awesome, then like and subscribe. If you want to wake up tomorrow successful, like and subscribe to my channel. Um... And, and I think that's it. So my next video will be the Fat F Fitness Challenge. Goodbye. Whoa, 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 whoa. Video's not over yet. So before I go, I would like to share my inspirations. The people who actually inspired me to put together a YouTube channel. The people who made me believe I can do it. So first and foremost, the exiled one, the ostracized one, the two time, the doc, Dr. Disrespect, he's the man. What he did was amazing. What he's doing is amazing. The dude knows how to have a good time and is good at what he does. So. That's that. Moving on. Lost in Vegas, the YouTube channel. These are a pair of dudes who react to music that they don't know. A lot of classic rock and, and heavy metal. And they also share the music that they like. And they're open-minded. And uh, just watching them have their minds blown to things that have blown and continue to blow my mind it's just really satisfying and and it gives me hope you know that people can grow and uh and just watching them have a good time is is a good time another one josh stefan youtube channel he's a drummer i think he's canadian this dude just rips up the drums he does a lot of covers and he does mashups and he plays songs in the style of other artists and he has some of his own material it's kind of weird but fun and uh this dude just knows how to rock period another one kurzagat kurzazest kurgagazist they just have a whole ton of cool videos good animation cool ideas Seems like they have some original ideas and uh, they have a lot of science stuff and it's broken down pretty cool and it's just good good content to consume and do a little learning. 
And the inspiration, who I cannot recommend strongly enough, Quinn's Ideas on YouTube. He is a nerd, and he broke down the entire story, most of the story of Dune by Frank Herbert. And being a nerd, I've always been into Star Trek, Star Wars, Stargate, and a bunch of other stuff, but I never really got into Dune. And I saw his videos, and I've watched his explanation videos several times over. I listen to them while I drive. Dune is a life-changing story. It is intense, and it's not just sci-fi. I consider it high art. High art is something that conveys emotion and ideas, not just content consumption. That would be low art. I can talk about these things because I have some college experience. Quinn has a great narrating voice, and the content of Dune itself is just lesson after lesson, and it's just a good story. But it's so impactful. And Quinn did such a great job of translating that impact. So if there's anything you take from this, go watch his videos. Moving on. I'm saying this for the clout and because it's the truth. Mr. Beast, he makes wild, entertaining videos. But what pushed me over the line of liking him is that he doesn't waste his money. He helps people. He's done a lot of great things for people. And that's inspiring. And that's great. Respect to the beast. Another inspiration is uh, the Cletus McFarlane YouTube channel. Good stuff. I like I like racing and cars and burnouts and stuff. Not NASCAR. He likes NASCAR, but I like cars. And uh, he just has a great channel. He bought a racetrack and made a gigantic uh, burnout pad and he just rips it up has a good time shows everybody what he's doing and uh, he brings joy into the world and and it's pretty cool and inspirational and because of those people I feel inspired to do this and hopefully what I do will inspire you to do something I'm thinking uh, specifically right now about the fitness stuff because uh, I know a lot of people out there need it. And and beyond that, I'd just like to, to touch upon something that I didn't say previously, is that L practice is for everybody. I'm going to give a little background on, on where L practice, the words, came from. Originally... I came up with the practice because I know what I want to do will never be complete. So it's the practice that is important. Kind of like a doctor will never heal everyone. So it's the practice. And uh, it turns out the practice is already taken on the social medias and whatnot. So I made it L practice, which is great because I want to make it clear that L practice has no borders. It's for everybody, all languages, all backgrounds, and and that's that. This is the end of the video. Like and subscribe if you want to live forever.